Hey guys, welcome back to PowerPoint Training Online. Today, we are going to be looking at editing shapes in PowerPoint. Now, I use shapes all the time. I use shapes for creating backgrounds. I use shapes for adding placeholder text. I use shapes to make graphics as well. I use shapes for everything in PowerPoint. I think they are one of the best features you can get in PowerPoint. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to edit shapes to make custom shapes, okay? So we're going to add a few shapes in. So let's say if I want to add in a square and recently and not so long ago, PowerPoint added a great feature on the format shapes tab that was called merge shapes, edit shapes. You can see here, I can change shape. I can edit points. Okay. What I'm going to show you now is how to merge shapes, not just merge shapes, but to cut shapes out, etc. So I'm going to draw a circle here over my square. So I'm gonna make that round and put it in the center. Okay, I'm gonna change the color of it just so we can see what we're doing. So I've got a shape there, I've got two shapes there. I've got a square and I've got my circle. But let's say I wanted a circle with a square, a square with a circle cut out of it, okay? So it's all well and good, I could use this and I could then just group them together to make it look like it's one, okay? But if I accidentally double click and move stuff, it becomes a bit of a nuisance. So we're gonna put that back and we're gonna ungroup them. So if I get my, if I select my blue square and then I'm going to select my circle as well. So press control and then select, so I've got two selected now. And now if I come up here on the ribbon and you'll see that merge shapes has now been highlighted. So once I press that, the merge shapes, I've got a list of actions I can take here. I can do a union, which will join the two shapes together. So in this instance, it doesn't make any effect because one shape's on top of the other. I can combine them to make it look like my square with a circle in it. I can fragment them so I can, they'll be combined, but they will still look like they're two separate shapes. I can intersect them so I can cut out the background so I had to be left with a white circle, or I can subtract them so I'm cutting a hole out of my square. So if I press subtract for now, you can see if I can, I press on the circle in the middle, there's nothing there. It is all one shape now, okay? So I'm gonna make that a little bit smaller because I wanna show you the union now. So I'm gonna create another circle. And I'm gonna create this one a little bit smaller because I wanna put a, I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna make it look like there's a half circle coming out of the square. So that's all well and good. So I've now got my two shapes. Again, select both of them. And this time under the format tab, merge shapes and click union. Okay, I've now got a bump coming out of my square with a circle in it. No matter if I make that, no matter what way I make that, whatever way I shape it, I can edit it up, bring it down, make it smaller. It's always gonna have that bump on it. It is part of the shape now. I've created a custom shape that no matter what I do with it, it's gonna stay the same. Another thing that's really useful in PowerPoint is being able to edit the actual shape itself. So I've got a circle here. If I go to the format tab and I go to edit shape, now I can change that shape to a square, I can change it to a diamond, I can change it to pretty much whatever it is that PowerPoint offers me. But what I want to do is I want to change it so that it's an obscure shape. So if I click on edit text shape and then click on edit points, you'll now see the points have become visible. What I can now do is I can take those points and change them, drag them. I can do whatever I want with them. So if I drag this bottom point down from the circle, I've now completely changed the look of that circle. Again, if I have my edit shape, once I've selected a point, I can then drag it out to make it go wider. I can bend it, I can twist it, I can make it smaller. So you can see here, it looks like I've created what could be used as a GPS tag. So it looks like a circle with a pointed arrow. Now what I could do is I could have created a circle and a triangle and created them all separately and then combined them or even added them all together as a group. But it's a bit of a nuisance, a bit of a pain. I find this way is so much quicker and easier. And we're now, we can go away, we can change the color for the whole shape. Does not make a difference, it is one shape. Even if we change the outline. So it is all one shape.
thank you for watching again today if you have any questions or any comments or is there anything you want to get through to us or let us know or you want to request anything please let us know in the comments below don't forget to reach out to us on facebook and twitter you can also check us out at powerpointtraining.online it's our website where we've got all of our videos and we also do an article every week thank you for watching have a good week Subscribe for all the latest updates from PowerPoint Training Online.